Hey guys, it's the Oz Rock God and welcome. Today we're checking out another horror trailer that dropped last week. Uh, it, the movie comes out next week. So let's do this. So today we're going to be checking out the trailer to the new uh, Invisible Man movie. Uh, stars Elizabeth Moss from Handmaid's Tale and also Oliver Jackson Cohen who was in Haunting of Hill House. Uh, this one was written and directed by Australia's own Lee Whannell uh, with Bloomhouse and they're taking on the Universal Pictures, Universal Monsters uh, beast that is the Invisible Man. So let's have a look. Adrian, he was a sociopath. He said that I could never leave him. He controlled how I looked and what I wore. Then it was controlling when I left the house and eventually what I thought. It's an interesting premise. Are you okay? Blue House Productions, great company. My dream is dead. Listen, you're getting your freedom back, okay? He said that wherever I went, he would find me. Walk right up to me, and I wouldn't be able to see him. Ooh, Adrian is dead. Creepy. He's not dead. He has figured out a way to be invisible. Whoa. Nope. He's sitting in that chair. There you go, the Invisible Man trailer. Um, now, this is a newer, updated trailer that dropped last week. They did have an original trailer that dropped about three months ago, but this is a bit of an, like an extended trailer. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. Now, I personally am a huge Universal Monsters uh, fan. As you can see, I, my, uh, Frankenstein's monster is my favorite monster of that, that universe. Um, now, this is a standalone movie. There was talk, or there was supposed to be a Universal Monsters universe that they were going to try and create. They originally did that, with, tried to start that with, I, I believe it was Dracula Untold, but that pretty much sucked, I believe. Um, so that sort of killed that off. Then they started to rework it. Um, and then they were going to reboot it again with The Mummy, starring Tom Cruise. But again, audiences didn't take well to it, so they abandoned all, all of that. And uh, they wanted to restructure the restructure and just do standalone movies again, which I'm happy about. That's what these movies were originally were about. You had Dracula, Visible Man, Phantom of the Opera. Um, 
And I like the idea, this is a low budget movie. I like that idea of low budget. Um, just like in the old days, in the 40s and 50s. You know, that's, I think that's where the, the mummy with Tom Cruise went. They th threw all the money they could at it. Didn't really work. Tom Cruise a bit too recognisable, a bit too Hollywood blockbuster, I think. I really you know, like how they're getting just back to the basics, back to what makes horror scary without, you know, more of that psychological sort of playing on... You can see what the main character is going through. Um... You know, it looks like all hell will break loose at the end of the movie and then her mind, her mental health is just being played with. Um, you know, she knows that the guy's there, that he's invisible, but obviously no one else can see them and, she, you know, she's starting to go, they think she's going mad. Um, it's almost, and it also plays into, I feel, it looks like into that supernatural sort of, sort of movie as well where you, she can't see him, but she knows he's there with the heavy breathing, the hand on the shower, you know, just that bit of a supernatural mindset going on as well, which I really, really, I'm really digging right now. Um, and again, yeah, like I said before, directed and written by Lee Whannell, uh, and it was fil actually filmed in Sydney as well. And, you know, he's come a long way. I remember watching him back in the day in the 90s as a film critic. On just a little morning TV show every Saturday morning called Recovery. Um, then he got his, he was a, you know, a film nerd, film critic, went went away, wrote, wrote and helped write a movie with uh, James Wan being sore. Um, and then just going down that path, James Wan became a super mega star directing big blockbusters now. Um, and Lee Winnell, you know, helping write Insidious movies. Um, he wrote and directed Upgrade. And now getting this shot with a big, big time universal property in The Invisible Man. So I'm re I can't, cannot wait for this movie. Uh, comes out next week. Uh, definitely going to go check it out in the cinemas. Uh, let me know down in the comments below if you enjoy the old school horror movies like the Universal Monsters. Um, what do you think of this new reboot? What did, did do you enjoy these mo older movies getting reboots? Um, and are you a fan of Lee Wana? Lee Wannell. Um, I know I am. Um, but yeah. So get those horns up. Thanks for watching guys. Hit the, the subscribe button and share with your friends and family. See you next time.